Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. We are almost ready to face the Archdemon. Actually, we are at the second floor of Fort Dragon. And we found Sandal and his enchantment. Surrounded by the corpse of many dark spawns and ogres. Better not investigate. I'm happy that Sandal is, uh, is on my side. Yes. On it. You need me? Good. All, all okay. Let on again. Thank you. 
Here I am. All right. No mercy. I shall do it. Come on. 
And then, it was over. At last. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king and queen. Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all he saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden. The first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Garahel four centuries ago. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it.
Now that's a very good point. I think we can begin with a monument here in Denerim, dedicated to the Grey Wardens who have fallen. Duncan, Riordan, all of them. And it is high time some scholars were collected to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again, with the Dwarves as well as here. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Howe, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? Well, I hope you'll stay here in court while you decide. Your skills are sorely needed. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. You're welcome. Thank you. It's good that you're staying here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden will have influence, and there is much to be done. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isold refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me, have you noticed anything strange about the lad? He seems quiet. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. But here I am, rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. Thank you. How incredible that it survived. It has exceeded my expectations. It is welcome. I'll point out that my expectations are difficult to exceed. Thankfully, it appears to be the exception when it comes to its kind, otherwise I might be forced to revise my opinion completely. But it is time for me to find my own way. Its quest is done now, and thus it is less interesting than before. What are you going to do now? Hmm. Travel. North, I think. Or perhaps east. Though there is an ocean that way. I may walk on the bottom. I don't know. Perhaps I will meet it once again in its travels. Or perhaps not. Either way, I wish it well. Good luck, Shale. When I heard that my little brother was not only a Grey Warden, but also leading Ferelden into battle, I was surprised, to put it mildly. Father, he would have been so proud of you. I know I am. You've done good. Thanks, Ferus. What was I meant to you? I never made it to the Battle of Ostagar. We were still scouting in the wilds when we were attacked by a party of Darkspawn. Most of my men were killed. I woke up two weeks later in a chastened hut, wounded and feverish. 
By the time I was able to sneak out of the wilds, you were already marching to Denerim. I tried to get word to High Ever. You can imagine what happened, I suppose. Hal was a greedy, traitorous bastard. I just wish I'd been there to help you kill him. At least Amaranthine now belongs to the Grey Wardens. There's some justice in that, I think. I need to go back to High Ever. See if I can clean up the mess Hal made of it. I will see you soon, I hope. Of course you will. Good. High Ever won't be the same without everyone around. Take care of yourself, you hear? Or I'll find you and nag you like Mother did until you're ready to tear out your hair. Thank you, Fergus. So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. And my part was small. I'm happy to watch you receive the accolades, it's quite fun. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is. I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. I do. I can't think of anything more important. I can give something back to the entire world. It will be a grand adventure of my very own. I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? It's a little strange. Of that I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not been a mage advising the throne for a very long time. True, I may not have very much time, but perhaps there is a great deal of good I can do even so. I will try. I understand you are remaining in Denerim, so we will likely see each other a great deal. I look forward to it. For now, I imagine the hero of Ferelden still has much to do. Good luck. They call you Hero. I have not heard it used before, but I think I understand the intent. The Arishak on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. When a Kunoran Vale is declared, certainly. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. That would be quite a sight. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. 
There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. That will be a long time home. Yes, but it will be welcome to be amongst familiar things again. It must be said, you gave me the chance to redeem my honor, and now it is done. I owe you a debt. You helped me as well. It's been good. It has. That one of the Baz, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps we shall meet again. Should it be in battle, I will not seek you out. Panahidon Warden. Panahidon, stay. have a better taste for spirits than I thought. <laughs> the ale up here is actually good. Orsamar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. Does that mean you stay here? Eh, <sighs> for now. They may have already branded me a surfacer back home anyhow. I got offered a spot in the human army, and not as a mascot either. You know, these humans aren't bad for all their long legs. General Ogren, not bad. Yeah, makes me wish Bronca was still around so she could see what she's missing. <laughs> yeah, stupid girl. Ah, well, enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. Take care of yourself, Ogren. Take care. It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds outside are getting restless. Yes. I'm ready. Let's go. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. In the month that followed their wedding, Alistair and Nora fell into the routine of Rulli Ferrell. And Nora was a skilled governor. Let up the matters of court and more than we need to spend our time judging matters of law from the throne. And Alistair was quite happy to let so he traveled to faculty, making personal appearance that the right commoners to know it. At least, I could cover the root of Ralton. News that the Urma secret ashes has been found in Ferelta did not spread outside the chat. Several months after the defeat of the Dark Spawn. The manuscript did the daily his research and his experience with a trust school to huge interest among scholars of food to us. Some years later, the chapter announced that the resting place of trust ashes had indeed been found. They were located a while near which the world was to the lair of proving too dangerous to approach. Many made demands to secure the ashes so the fellows could undertake a big mission to partake of their alien powers. Following numerous failed attempts to deal with the dragon, the beast of fellows flew off to find another heaven, but to live in the mountain top side of the roads, an excavation found no trace of the
carried away. Whispers of incessant circulated through the whole summer. However, in the month of August, with cast to reopen Caridin's research, refused to do it. As good as her word, Morica disappeared once the archdemon was slain. Someone of Morica description was seen traveling along month later, leading west through the first black mountains. And she may well have been the witcher. There was no word of her after that. With the flame of death, or at least gone, the chance of tracking her down or a seventeen. One cannot help but wonder. Sure.